You are listening to the sound of a completely new screen experience. Hmm? A startling new kind of excitement. No way! As 20th Century Fox plunges you into the most incredible adventure that man could ever achieve. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're checking out a free game on Steam called The Body VR, and it's only 11 minutes long, so let's just get right into it. journey begins here, inside a blood vessel, carrying blood from the heart. Let's take a closer look. Huh. It's kind of like that one 80s Steven Spielberg movie. Can't remember the name right now. Inner Space, I think it was. Whoa. We are currently inside an arterial, a small strand in a network of blood vessels that spread throughout the body. Let's take a look at the blood's most huh. prominent cell. It's a donut. The red blood cell. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, take up almost half of the blood's total volume, giving a red color to our blood. Their main function is to transfer oxygen from our lungs to vital parts of our body. Oh, that's cool. Next up are white blood cells, or leukocytes, which take up less than 1% of the blood's total volume. Their main function is to protect our body from infection. <laughs> Lastly, let's examine platelets, or thrombocytes, whose main function is to stop bleeding at the site of a damaged blood vessel. On our right, you can see a tear in the blood vessel. Let's investigate. This reminds me of that one ride that was at Epcot at, at um, Disney World. I'm not sure if it's still there, but this is totally like the same thing. A type of leukocyte, the monocytes, creep through blood vessels to become macrophages and search for foreign invaders which they eat and digest. Let's leave the bloodstream through the tear to find a macrophage. We must now undergo further miniaturization. Oh no, here we go! currently on the outside of the macrophage, within an infected tissue, looking at its surface. A typical cell membrane structure. There are thousands of receptor proteins on the surface of the cell. Some of these proteins are tasked with transferring information, and others with transferring cargo. I'm learning. Water and oxygen pass freely through the cell's membrane. Come on, come here, oxygen. No. Larger molecules, like glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. Large objects, like viruses, require recognition or keys to gain access thus preventing unauthorized entrance. <laughs> Fortunately, Viruses I have don't a have counterfeit keys. key that's identical to a real one. <gasps> we are now entering the cell. A 
macrophage has pulled us in, and we are submerged in the cytoplasm, a gel made mostly of water. I wish they had stuff like the this when I was in school. The cytoskeleton is made up of a network of adjustable strands that gives the cell its structure. This there is are definitely going to be types of in every school that room at some day point in time. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand, measuring only seven nanometers in diameter. <laughs> Intermediate filaments are made of the protein actin and have a diameter of 10 nanometers. This is really relaxing. Lastly, microtubules have a diameter of 24 nanometers, which is wide enough to be used for transport. What the hell's that? A special type of protein called Kinzin motor protein has the ability to walk along microtubules. <laughs> it latches onto larger structures and transports them around the cell. This walk is a little goofy. Energy is available in the cytoplasm in the form of ATP molecules. ATP binds with kinesin and propels it forward. With each step the kinesin takes, it binds with an ATP molecule and releases an ADP molecule. In real time, kinesin walks up to 100 steps per second. The kinesin protein is heading straight for the cell's nucleus. Let's yep. tag along for a ride. <laughs> we are now approaching the nucleus, the center of the cell. Thanks for the ride, buddy. Whoa. The surface of the nucleus has its own membrane, similar to that of the cell. What the? Ugh. It's kind of gross. Pores are spread around the surface of the nucleus to allow entry and exit of larger molecules. It's walking faster. Protein filaments are located around the edge to facilitate the transport. Inside. It's always very uncomfortable when, like, in VR, when you go through like 3D textures or models. It's a Here, really weird feeling. We are feeling. inside the nucleus, the control center of the cell, containing the majority of the cell's DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries our genetic code. Replicating. The DNA contains instructions for protein synthesis. That's cool. In the process of transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, or ribonucleic acid containing a single recipe for protein creation.
Let's exit the nucleus through a nuclear port. I like the little outer exterior of this ship I'm in. We have exited the nucleus and are now floating through the cytoplasm. Surrounding the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, Whoa. or RER, a maze-like structure made of flattened membrane. Studied with ribosomes, the RER maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. Ribosomes link together amino acids following the instructions received from the RNA. The protein is then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. Oh, I got it. <laughs> In the distance, you can see a mitochondria. Got you, you little bastard. Mitochondria are free-floating organelles, typically referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. That's so cool. Mitochondria received its name due to their vital role in ATP generation. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the main source of energy within the cell. Mitochondria take the pyruvate and convert it into carbon dioxide and water, releasing ATP in the process. Yeah, sorry if I'm not looking at this stuff, like now all of this is just a little distracting. Components of the cell, let's make our way outside. that I don't you tell me you're the expert there's an incoming virus attack headed for the cell uh oh 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 that's, that's so weird fortunately a cloud of antibodies is stationed around the cell to protect it from viruses That's good. The white blood cells consume the viruses as they are highlighted by the antibody. It's weird when they bounce off the ship I'm in. Together, the antibodies Makes me feel uncomfortable. white blood cells form the front line of our immune system. You can like hear the thud. Thousands of viruses have made it past the antibodies. Viruses overcome the defenses, and some viruses are able to enter the cell using counterfeit keys. It's what this guy in keys. There are too many viruses. It looks uh -oh. like the cell is not going to survive. Let's head back to the observatory. Wait, so it died? We're going back? Is that it? That completes our journey through the human body. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Well, that's a bad ending. Okay, looks like the cell died and the game just ended, so that was it. Alright, so that was the body VR. Um, thanks for sticking around, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.